Hi, Luke from Korg here. Today I'm showing you the D1 piano. This is our multi-use stage piano, but it's equally at home here in the studio, as you can see. And you can use it at home just as easily, so it makes it really versatile. It's got 88 notes and they're graded. So um, the hammer action is heavier in the bass and lighter in the treble. It's our RH3 premium action, which is made in Japan. And you also get everything you need to get you started. So you get a music rest, which is really useful. You can clip that on at the back really easily to put your music on. And on the floor here, I've got my damper pedal. So that's great for when you need to sustain your notes. So first and foremost, we've got a fabulous piano sound in here. Which is really expressive to play. And as you can hear, I'm using my damper pedal to sustain it there. So you've got all sorts of different sounds in here. You've actually got 30 in total and they're in 10 groups here with three variations of each. So as you can see, we're in the piano one category at the moment. So that's the sound we've been listening to. But then you've got variations of that. So if I go to number two. Slightly different variation of a piano. And then you've got uh, kind of a dance piano like this. based on our classic M1 synthesizer piano sound. Let's go into piano two category. And again, you've got different variations. That's quite a bright piano sound as you can hear. So that's really good for pop stuff because it's a slightly thinner sound, but it will cut through really well. And um, what else we've got here? Honky Tonk. and also a CP digital piano. Let's go into a different category of electric piano one. So these are electric pianos. We've also got a metronome built in, which is really useful for practice. So to turn that on, all I need to do is press the metronome button this is telling me my tempo. I can change that up and down. This is beats per minute. So let's put it onto 95 and rehearse. Great for rehearsing and practicing and of course you can then notch the tempo up as you want to progress with your practice. Other uh, variations we've got in the electric piano category. Got this really nice tremolo Rhodes. Electric piano 2 are more digital electric piano sounding so things like FM pianos. sounds like this. But this is really where you start noticing the effects built into the D1 as well. And they've got their own buttons here on the panel, reverb and chorus. So if we turn both of those off, you'll hear the difference. Completely dry sound. Let's turn the reverb back on so you can hear it, but you can also adjust it by holding down reverb and then say turning it up to number three there. And you hear you've got a much more spatial sound. And same thing with the chorus. So if I turn that on, really widens it out a lot and we can again let's put the chorus on full you've also got a harpsichord category well harpsichord slash clav and my favorite sound in this category is this one Great fun to play. You've also got a vibes guitar category. So you've got your vibes in there. And you've got xylophone or marimba and also guitar as well. Really nice guitar sound. You've got two organ categories as well. So you've got um, 
kind mm. of jazz organ sounds, three variations of those, and also your church organ sounds. My favourite categories, I think, are these two, the strings and the choir. So you go into strings, and then you've got different variations again. So you've got that string sound. You've also got this one, which is a slightly wider sound with an octave above it as well. And a slightly slower attack. And it works really well when you layer sounds as well. So you, And it's dead easy to do that. All you have to do is select another category, say the choir. Find the sound you want. I'm going to go with that one there, and then press the two buttons together, and it will give you a nice blend of the two sounds together. So you can blend any two different sounds you want to together in the D1. So let's take something different. Let's go into the string category again. But this time I'm going to go for variation three, which is a nice analog pad sound. And let's find our piano sound we want. So I'm going to go back to my original piano sound. And I'm going to add some reverb. As you can hear there. And then I just press those two buttons together, piano and strings. And I've got this really nice blend of my two. But you can also adjust the balance between the two as well, very easily. You just press function. And then this button here. And then you can see that they're both equal about, as at the moment. They were both on nine, but I can just go up and dial back the pad a little bit. Or do the opposite, have more pad and less piano. So let's put it mainly piano with a little bit of pad, and you've got this. So connections wise on the D1, it's all on the back here. So you've got left and right outs on jacks, so you can connect to a mixer or a pair of monitors. You've also got headphone jack on the front, so you can monitor on headphones if you want to. But we've also got MIDI built in as well. So that allows us to connect to other instruments or a computer for recording. So as you can see, I've got my uh, Minilog XD module here connected up, MIDI out of the D1 into the Minilog XD, which means I can trigger the sounds from this module with this keyboard. And of course I can start manipulating the sounds on the module as well. So it works for all kinds of different sounds, of course. So it's really nice for arpeggiated like patterns like this one, for example. And with my sustain pedal on the floor, I can sustain the notes of the module as well. So there we go, that's the Korg D1 piano. Very versatile, equally at home here in the studio, or on stage, or even at home. For more details, check out the link in the description below. See you next time.